For the first time since entering politics in St. Lucia 35 years ago, the Minister for Infrastructure, Ports, Energy and Labor, Stevenson King, will not represent the United Workers Party in a general election. King confirmed on Thursday night in an address to the nation that he will run as an independent candidate in those polls coming up on July 26th. The announcement came just four days after the Prime Minister announced the election date and amid speculation that he would sever ties with the ruling party. He said that after some deep soul searching and trying to convince his party colleagues to pursue a different brand of politics, he reached that conclusion that he could no longer be part of an organization that he hardly recognized. Never have I been so repulsed by the blatant disrespect and callous contempt in which so many ordinary people have been held by those who now hold political office. In all good conscience, I cannot go to the people and ask them to endorse for another five years what has just preceded us and to repose the leadership of this country in the same group of people in some mistaken belief that it will be all right in the morning. I am a team player and someone who has spent over 35 years in service and in the United Workers Party. I felt that I had to first try and do everything in my power before making the decision that I am now announcing. I have therefore decided that I will not be putting myself forward as one of the candidates for the UWP at the upcoming general elections. I will, however, in answer to the calls of so many people, both here and abroad, and in the constituency of Castries North, be contesting the general elections as an independent candidate, seeking a mandate as a patriotic St. Lucian in the Parliament of St. Lucia. Well, the 62-year-old King was St. Lucia's sixth prime minister after the death of Sir John Compton back in 2007. He remained in office until 2011.